In this clip, we will use links to connect the unit models that we inserted into the flow sheet in the previous exercise. We are using the flow sheet figure one in the Syscate basic tutorial that's shown here for reference. Please do note that the order in which you insert the links is not important and you can therefore draw the links in any order. To insert a link in Syscade, we can click on the icon, which is Insert Links, or we can go to Graphics, Insert, Link, or you can say Control L. And you'll see the icon changes, and it's show, what it's showing is a little tank with a pipe coming out of the bottom. And this is where we show the source unit for the link. So my first source unit will be the second feeder down here. So and the icon has now changed to be a tank with a link going into it. And it's saying, what is the destination of this link? And I'll click down on the agitated tank. And for the tank, there are two possible inputs, either an input into the tank or into a heat exchange, which is like a jacketed heat exchange. In our case, we must choose input. And Syscad will draw an automatic line. If you like the line and you accept it, you can just click on Next to draw the next link. Or if you're not happy with how Syscad has drawn the line, you yourself can draw a line. And to do that, all you have to do is click on the first point where you want the line to start. So it's just a single click with your mouse and the line that was automatically drawn by Syscad will disappear. And then you can click for the next point that you want where the line must turn. And if you hold down your left mouse button, you'll get these crosshairs which allow you to line it up with the tank below. When I release the left mouse button, Syscad will draw a straight line to that point, and then I can draw my third point there. So that's how you can draw your own line if you do not like the link that Syscad has drawn for you. When you've finished your first line, we can start our second line by clicking on the next button. So next, and if I click on this feeder, that's my source, and again this link will go to this tank, so I click on the tank, I'm going to the input and now we've got 19 connections left. And this time I'm going to accept the default link that was drawn by Syscad and just click on next to draw my next link. And the next one will be from the top feeder. And this time it will come down to this tank, the autoclave. And I'll click on input. And again, I'm going to accept the default link that it's drawn for me. So I click on next. Next link is from the bottom feeder again to the autoclave, and again it asks me which connection, and I'll say the input, and again I'm going to accept the link. Next, and this time I'll say from the agitated tank, and here I can have it either from the output for the heat exchange, and the output is what I'm going to select, and to the autoclave, and to the input. But in this case I really don't like the link that it's drawn, so I'm going to redraw that, I just want to draw a straight line, so I'll click on the first point where I want the line to start. I'll just click once and release. And that automatic line has disappeared. And then I'll click for the last point. We've now got a straight line. Two more links are left. So if I say next, I can draw a link from the autoclave output up to the feeder. And I'll accept that default link. Next for my last link is from the autoclave the output again to this last feeder and I'm happy with all of those I say okay and you'll see the grid lines have disappeared and my links have all been drawn and this would be a good time to save your project.